Hi, my name's Adrian Alexander, and I'm new to the channel, The Absolute Sound, but I'm sure that's probably obvious to most of you watching this. That being said, today we are going to review the Ortofon Cadenza Black Moving Coil Cartridge. Before I get started, a little bit about myself and my background. I've loved music probably since I was 13 years old, so I would say for over 50 years. I've loved sound, I've loved the equipment, and back in the day growing up in the 70s, I always enjoyed going to the record store to see what was new, what, how this sounded versus how the others sounded. That being said, before we get started with this review, I headed on down to my local record store to pick out some things that maybe I hadn't heard or look for some reissues. Let's take a look, Let's head on down to the record store and I'll be back for the review in a moment. Setting up the cartridge took about an hour to set up. The price is $3,558. The stylus type is a new Shibata. The cartridge weight is 10.7 grams. The tracking force is 2.0 to 2.3 grams. I did set the cartridge up using this software. Now I'm not gonna speak about that today, but I will say that it made a huge improvement. I'll do another video later to discuss this software and why I think it's important if you like analog and listen to records. I've enjoyed this hobby since I was 13 years old. That's over 50 years. I love all genres of music. Example, anyone from Earth, Wind & Fire to Led Zeppelin to Aretha Franklin to Billy Joel, on and on and on. My barometer in listening to music, records especially, is how does it make me feel inside? Am I immersed in the music? Does it make me smile? Do I tap my feet? I found myself listening to this cartridge, smiling, I was immersed in the music, and I kept going back listening to tracks because I heard things that I didn't hear before. The separation, the sound stage, the clarity, I just sat there probably one day with a smile on my face for at least four or five hours just listening to vinyl. Same as I did when I was a kid growing up in the 70s. Let me back up a little. I've owned a number of moving magnet coil cartridges and they've all sounded good in different ways with different equipment that I've had through the years. But this cartridge particular seemed to be more detailed, straight out of the box. I, I could hear things that I hadn't heard before using other moving magnet cartridges. I was pleasantly surprised. I also inquired about the break-in. How long does it take to break this cartridge in? The recommendation from Ortofon is anywhere from 20 to 50 hours. Now you might think, who's got time to play a record on one side for 20 to 50 hours? Because that's exactly what I thought. I called Ortofon and I asked him about this. Now I don't want to get too technical here, so you'll have to call and find out for yourself. But the gentleman that I spoke with said, listen, you don't have to play the record 20 to 50 hours. You can simply sit the stylus on the record and somehow something happens that helps it break in. So that's, that's news to me. So that being said, but I will say this, after about 15 hours, it really did open up. The sound stage became wider. There was more depth. The voices were more present. The instruments were just as though you were right there. There's some reference albums that I like to listen to just because I've listened to them for so long, I, I kind of know what to listen for. For example, Melanie Gardot, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. The reason why I like to listen to that song is, is I know it like the back of my hand. I know where the instruments should be, where the placement is. Not only is it a well-arranged song, it's also her voice is unbelievable. The range and the octaves and the depth of her voice. What this cartridge brought out was 
things that I'd never heard before. Um, the acoustic guitar, I could hear it in the right channel. I could hear the, the finger slide on the string. I could hear the trumpet as though it was really soft and just everything blended together. The sound stage was incredible. Again, the depth. So that's one of the, that's one of the songs that I really enjoy. And it sounded different than other moving coil cartridges that I have used in the past. And I want to be real clear about this. Um, this cartridge worked good in my systems. Everybody's system's different. So, I mean, you know, the comments, you know, if you buy this and you, hey, well, you told me it sounded like this. I'm only saying in my system. So I want to be real clear about that. Now, I'm not even a blues guy, but I'm sure some of you have heard of Lightning Hopkins. Wake Up Old Lady is incredible. It's as though I was in a concert, um, probably five or six feet away from him. The stand-up bass sounded clear. Um, you, you could hear the guitar strings. You could hear his fingers on the guitar strings. His voice was just present. And by the way, I may mention voice a lot. That's what I hear. That's, that's the mid-range. That's what my ears draw, are drawn to. I've always liked mid-range. Um, you know, they, there's a saying, the eyes don't lie, and neither do the ears. And I know what I like, and I know what it's supposed to sound like. And that song was incredible. There are a lot of well-known brands out there. Everybody that's new at this or, or experiences this or just a true audiophile, I think you would agree with that. But one of the things that's most important to me, and I don't know that we, I think we should probably talk about that, is customer service. In other words, will somebody answer the phone? Will somebody get back to you? You're spending a lot of money for these products. And I always want to be able to communicate with someone. Well, I called Ortofon and left a message. They got back to me within a day. I spoke to them. I asked them about the break-in time. I did not mention anything about a review because, full disclosure, they might have been a little bit nicer. That would have given them a reason to be a little bit nicer. But all I can tell you is this, is that I had a wonderful experience talking to them. So think about this. If you're going to spend over $3,000 for a cartridge or even $500 for a cartridge, if it's not working the way you think it should or you have a question, someone should answer your call and get back to you. I, I would give them a 10 plus for that. Customer service is off the hook. I wanted to address that in this video because I think it's important. You know, we all work hard for our money. We want to get the best value for our money. That being said, I give them an A plus.